How about a case study on content marketing versus selling? I created my own case study by just doing what I always do. As you know, I create content and put it on different platforms. I'm rarely trying to sell anything. I'm simply just trying to give some of my knowledge and some tips for people. So on this particular platform, someone reached out to me and they said they liked what I was doing and they wanted me to talk to someone they knew about some of the challenges they were having and uh, maybe I could help them out. So I ended up contacting this uh, person and turned them into a client. I never tried to sell them. I just produced really good content. They saw value in it. I met with them, continued to pr provide good content, and they're now a client. On the other hand, on the same platform where I produce lots of content, someone I knew sent me a package in the mail. I won't say what industry or who they are. And they were selling their services. And they also said that their secretary was going to call me to try to book an appointment. Firstly, I wasn't interested in the topic. Well, maybe I was, but I, I'm not interested in contacting the person. I have no idea who they are. Secondly, you can't contact me. You have to get someone else to do it for you. That's definitely not the way I would do it. Good that you're trying to sell, but and that happened on the same day, actually. I got the call to go talk to someone on the same day that I received that package in the mail. But see the difference? That happened on the exact same day. I believe that content and content marketing is the way to show your expertise. Uh, it'll naturally sell itself or you can naturally sell yourself by producing that content. You don't have to be out there selling. The world is way too open and transparent nowadays to just be out there selling all the time because people want to know who they're dealing with first before they actually spend money. So you need to get out there and uh, teach your expertise, tell everyone about it. And I promise you, you'll get more leads that way. And it's a lot more fun. And to help you with some of the challenges of producing content, for example, on Facebook, where you should be posting a couple times a day, at least once a day, get consistent at it. Uh, if you click on a link uh, below this post or somewhere on this page, it'll take you to my 109 Facebook posting ideas to help you get more fan engagement and leads and customers. So click on the link if you want this free report, and we will see you in the next video.